Good afternoon, my name is Gary Corcoran. Um, I'm an antique dealer and welcome to Corcoran's Corner. Um, for those of you that haven't seen uh, any of my YouTube um, clips, um, I've been an antique dealer for 40 years in New Zealand, Australia and now here in beautiful Toronto, Canada. And um, I've got a passion for antiques and I'd like to share some of the items that I purchase and um, just a bit of information about them. This is a Victorian Stirling Silver Chatelaine uh, made in 1898 by Samuel Jacob. Um, it has some accessories on it, a pair of scissors and a Stirling Silver case which is a Georgian pair of um, scissors in case, a ladies compact and mirror, uh, and a Vesta case for carrying matches um, to light the fire or whatever. Now, Chatelaines were really, they were a status symbol in Victorian times and Georgian times. The lady of the house wore this rather than the maid. Because, like this one has six chains, sometimes you know, different things I might want to hang on it. Um, but a, a, um, a key for a tea caddy, because in Victorian times, tea was very expensive. So the maid would come to the mistress of the house and ask if she could unlock the tea caddy because she wants to make you know, afternoon tea or high tea. So it was a status symbol and you knew whoever was wearing this on her waist, well, uh, waistband, was the lady of the house. As I said, this was made by Samuel Jacob, who was a London specialist silversmith that made belts and specialised in chatelaines as well. Um, with English silver, unlike continentals, um, American silver, and a lot of the world's silver. English silver is very easy to date. On the back, on the, on the clip that hang on to the waistband, you have SJ for Samuel Jacob. You have a lion on all four, which is the sterling standard that tells you this is made out of 925% silver out of a possible 1000%. By law in England, it had to be 925 standard. Then it has the leopard's head, which stands for London. And then on the front here is another set um, of the silver marks including the date code which dates it to 1898 and every panel every separate single panel that has been joined by the chains is also hallmarked these as i said the pieces hanging on it are not what came with the chatelaine you would have bought the chatelaine and added on what you liked or it may have come with some items and you put other ones on. <clears throat> so you've got a Georgian pair of scissors, a early um, 20th century powder compact, and you know, circa 1900 Vesta case. I'll come up closer so you can see it. It's beautifully cast with putties and angels and figures and then your chains they're ornate as you can see and they have little what they call bulldog clips on the end which connect to your instruments or your items that you're hanging on there on the back is your clip which is hinged and your silver marks again 
on the front. Don't know if you can see it. There are some silver marks over here. And that's that's what a chatelaine is and, and what it was used for. Um, currently, um, the chatelaine is on eBay. Um, if you want to have a look at it with some um, good, good images, weights and measurements. Um, our eBay handle is all things timeless. So all things and then timeless. So A-L-L-T-H-I-N-G-S-T-I-M-E-L-E-S-S -E -E -S, and you will find us there. We're also on Facebook under Art Class Antiques. A-R-T-E C-L-A-S-S -S, and then Antiques. A-N-T-I-Q-U-E-S and if you want to email us and ask any questions, um, email me at sales at art, A-R-T-E, class, C-L-A-S-S, -S, trading, T-R-A-D-I-N-G, dot com. And, um, yeah, and that's it. I hope um, you've enjoyed that, and please come back again. I've got some interesting other items I want to show you. And, um, yeah, thank you very much, and have a nice evening. Okay, bye.